So the Next 100 program is about a technology, business, and policy training process to bring more people in Keysight up to speed about wireless business in general, more specifically about 5G and the opportunities it has. I personally talked to many providers and what I found very early on is that they weren't ready because 5G is in the process of becoming real. It's not real quite yet. So how do you develop a program when it's not real? I needed to find a partner that was uh, ready to meet that challenge, to de develop content as we go, to iterate, to prototype together so that we can start learning and not wait till it's too late. Um, as I discovered uh, uh, the environment that existed out there in the learning community, they weren't ready, not only with content, but also in disposition. They weren't ready to step in to develop something they didn't have a lot of experience with. Yet, I came across 5G courses we got into a discussion, they understood what our vision was, and they were prepared to meet our demands by developing a prototype, by working with us to develop our lead leaders and iterate as we go, learning as we go. We actually found that 5GCourses.com flexibility uh, was very easy to work with. Uh, they were extremely uh, flexible in terms of how we were going to implement our system, how we wanted to deal with licensing, uh, and uh, also connected with some of the right people so that we had the right kind of trainers and the right kinds of subjects that would feed the Keysight Next 100 program kind of at the right level to help understand the technology, the business model, the policy, the standards, all of that kind of thing. And given that that is really something that relies on trainers that are not just good teachers, but also good experts in the field, and they, they can train from the heart and from their own background, uh, I found that the experience was very positive. The trainers for me were of significant value because they represent two things that I think are really critical. Number one, both of the trainers with, with whom I have the most direct experience were very experienced in the market itself. They uh, had commercial experience as entrepreneurs, uh, working for big companies, working for small companies. The second thing that's really important in a trainer is to be a good trainer. That is, to understand pedagogy, to understand the process of learning, and to cater to the different kinds of learning styles that people have throughout our industry, throughout the world, and to be able to present that material in a way where it lands and finds a home in the brains of the learners uh, in, in multiple ways. And so the trainers that we dealt with had both of those caliber, both, both of that kind of skills caliber in terms of both the experience and also the passion about, around pedagogy. So I came into this environment being very skeptical of the MOOC, the massive online course thing. However, from a professional standpoint, the opportunity to come into the program, take a 20 minute section and have it divided up in a section that you can easily segment and then go back and relearn, turns out to be super important, particularly for those of us who are doing this as part of a job, not our full-time job. And the, uh, the tool worked really well for that. And uh, we have a couple of pieces of feedback we gave 5GCourses.com. They worked on those right away. And uh, I'm sure the tool will continue to improve, but uh, I'm now much more of a convert on the online course concept than I was before.